Hi everyone, my name is Gray. I'm the dietitian and health coach with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. 2020 is here, it's the new year, so we got people making resolutions, trying to make changes to do better, be better, be healthier, whatever it may be. So in the last video, we talked about willpower and the mental energy that it takes to stick with those new goals. So for this video, we wanted to talk about some tips um, that you can implement, once again, to stick with those goals and be more successful. So in the last video, we used the example of trying to cook more at home. You may be somebody who eats out a lot, you're having a lot of fast food, junk food, and you wanna cook more at home to be healthier and save some money. So if we're looking at that example, the first tip here is that we wanna be realistic. If you never cook at home, um, then it's not going to be realistic for you to decide to cook all of your meals from home. You're going to want to shrink that change down a little bit. Um, so maybe focusing on packing a lunch three days a week or decide that you want to cook dinner twice a week or maybe only focus on breakfast. Something like that is going to be much more realistic and easier to stick to. The second tip is to plan ahead. And I think this one's really important and something that we often forget to do. Um, if you make a solid plan, then it's going to be easier to stick with those goals. So, for example, if, you, if you're not very comfortable in a kitchen, if you don't really have any knife skills, then it may be worthwhile to do a little planning, watch some YouTube videos on some basic knife skills, how to chop an onion, that sort of thing, to help you prep and plan for that time when you're cooking more at home. Um, you could also use that time to collect some recipes from um, friends or family or even test out some new recipes that you found online. So that way when the new year comes, you have um, kind of an arsenal of recipes that you can pull from. The last tip here is to ask for help. You don't have to be a lone wolf on this thing. Um, it's certainly helpful to recruit the help of friends and family for something like this. Um, for one, it can be nice to have the moral support. Um, you can also get the help of an expert if you decide that you want your meals to be as nutritious as they can be, but you're not really sure how to do that. You could always talk to a, um, a health coach or dietitian to get more information about that. Um, also asking friends or family that spend a lot of time cooking, they you know make healthy recipes, they may have some tips on how you can be more successful with that goal. So take these into account. Remember our willpower video. Best of luck with your goals. Thanks for watching.